Let's move to the ACC, though, because there's a pretty good quarterback or two up there in that conference, but I want to highlight Miami's Tyler Van Dyke. And Blake, you just wrapped up a film study on this guy. What stood out to you on the film, and what does he do really well? Well, Tyler Van Dyke's a fantastic pro, uh, prospect. I mean, I watched uh, multiple games of his last season, and for a guy that had never played before, he came in and really lit up. I mean, he's got a great frame. He's got a great arm, incredible arm strength. He can throw all the all the throws on the field that you're asking an NFL quarterback to do. Uh, he uh, makes pretty good decisions most of the time. Rhett Lashley is now the uh, the head coach at SMU raves about Van Dyke's abilities, his leadership skills, and just his all-around talent is just a guy that's uh, got all, all the necessary skills to, to compete at a high level as, as a leader and as a playmaker. And so he dialed up some great plays for, for Van Dyke. I think going into this year, he's got to prove that he can learn under a new system, which sometimes can be, can be difficult. Uh, make a few better decisions. He, he made, I, I think, for the most part, really good decisions. Uh, his receivers let him down some last year on getting routes undercut and drops and, uh, you know, a couple little 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 pick, picky things there. But he's got a three-quarter delivery, which is something I think at some point uh, will, will be picked apart by the NFL scouts. I don't know if he's worked on that this offseason or not, but he's a fantastic pro, uh, prospect. I see him going – uh, very high in the draft this year if he can uh, can 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 prove it again on film this year and, and kind of take the next step with the experience that he got from last year so we've got all this information from our guy Blake Carl I want to know in your opinion with that taken into consideration are we talking about the top quarterback in the ACC when we talk about Miami's Tyler Van Dyke well, right now, I'm going to hold off on saying Van Dyke is the best quarterback in the ACC, and I'm going to put my attention on Devin Leary at North Carolina State. North Carolina State is a team that everybody is saying this year should push Clemson as the top team in the ACC and may potentially be a team that crashes the playoffs. you got to go with their leader, Devin Leary, who threw for 35 touchdowns last year, versus only five picks and right under 3,500 yards passing. I like what Devin Leary is doing. I think that Van Dyke is going to have an excellent season. But right now, going into the season, I'm going to say Devin Leary is at the top of that league. And I think he's going to be in the running for a very high draft pick as well. Yeah, Leary is an outstanding prospect as well. And, and I think those two guys will battle it out for, for QB number three. I think, uh, you know, Sam Hartman from Wake Forest is an excellent prospect. And then the guy that the guy that everyone is sleeping on in the ACC is Brennan Armstrong at Virginia. I think he's a fantastic prospect as well. So the ACC's loaded with quarterbacks this year. Uh, there's more than what we just talked about. So I think uh, the ACC ought to be a fun, a fun conference this year to watch just because they're going to have a lot of quarterbacks or have a chance to play at the next level. 